it's a Monday time. Welcome to my studio, dear friends. Today we are in my studio, but we are going outside. The subject of our painting today, just one shadow. And I will show you how it's possible to create the whole the painting using just one shadow and almost nothing more. I have a good piece of the Sanders Waterford paper, 300 grams, and let's go. I will make a very, very simple sketch, like usual, because I don't want to spend the time for this kind of job. Okay, the sketch is done. Like usual, it's just measuring our space, like a map, nothing more. And before I start, I'm gonna spray it a little bit. I like that stuff. And let's go. I'm just preparing the lighter part, just a little bit, and like I promise you, I do almost nothing, so all the job will be made by creating this shadow later. why I like watercolor because that gives me a lot of freedom the bigger part of the job the water made itself Like you can see, we have almost nothing. So now it's the shadow time. I switch to the calligraphy brush. And make the big dark mix.
the shadow I'm um, use the basic mix between purine violet and indigo and times to times I add the different pigments inside. Time to switch to the five lines brush. I'm preparing the some shape for my future details, and I'm going to use for this that big guy because that make all my lines alive and a little bit unpredictable. accents and that will be almost done. For now I switch to my solar travel brush because it's very pointy and we create just a little bit details there, just a little bit. Because honestly the picture for my infinite is done.
like you can see, sometimes all what you have to do to create your paper or organize your painting, just make one shadow on top of the bright light. Thank you for watching and see you next Monday. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.